Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where today we're following up our list of players the stats hate with the ones the stats love. Let's jump in. 10. Thomas Muller Thomas Muller has become a fashionable player to hate over the last few years, but frankly, Bayern won't mind that their homegrown superstar is underrated. The German has been with the club 20 years, making over 500 appearances as well as 100 for the national team, and in that time winning 8 titles, the Champions League and the World Cup, as well as 12 other trophies. Muller has kept his place in the side despite Bayern's wealth of talent, and the numbers make it clear why. Put simply, the 31-year-old is one of the best creators in the game. This season, after 25 league appearances, he has 6 goals and 16 assists, the latter being the joint best mark in Europe alongside De Bruyne. But while KDB contributes to a goal every 87 minutes, Muller does so every 71, while ranking among the top 5% of players for winning the ball back with pressing and making an incredible 4 tackles and interceptions per match, the same as Arsenal's Lucas Torreira. Muller is one of only 11 players across Europe's top 5 leagues to have over 1 expected goals and assists per 90 minutes this year, something even Cristiano Ronaldo hasn't managed. And if Bayern win the league, he'll equal Franck Ribéry's record of 9 Bundesliga titles. Not bad for a donkey. 9. Mikel Marino Martin Odegaard and Alexander Isaac have received plenty of plaudits this year, but less heralded at Real Sociedad is midfielder Mikel Marino. The Spaniard is 23 but has already played in La Liga, the Bundesliga and the Premier League, arriving at the Anoeta for £11 million in 2018, a ground just an hour from his birthplace in Pamplona. The youngster has become a starter for La Real this year, with Asia Iarramendi sidelined since August with an ankle injury, and has demonstrated a similar passing range. While not a creative powerhouse, topping out at 1.1 key passes per 90 across his career to date, Marino excels at moving the ball into the final third, doing so 5.8 times a game, the 12th best in Spain, more than Odegaard and every Real Madrid player bar Toni Kroos. Defensively, he's adequate with 4 tackles and interceptions a match, but he's shown ability in this regard previously, managing over 6 defensive actions a game at Newcastle, where he also put up 1.9 dribbles per 90, close to double his present rate of 1.1. At his age, this collection of talents is extremely impressive, and it's clear why Dortmund signed him at 20 years old, though less clear why they sold him. Expect his stay in the Basque country to be brief. 8. Mohamed Salah Arguing that a Liverpool player is underrated is a hard task right now, with pundits falling over themselves to call the entire squad world-class in the wake of their historic campaign. But while Mane may be their best-loved forward and Firmino an excellent link-up attacker, the club's most important offensive player is without doubt Mo Salah, who somehow never gets the credit he deserves. That's presumably because of his debut year at Anfield, whose staggering tally of 32 goals and 10 assists in 36 matches was always going to be impossible to top. But the Egyptian's level hasn't dropped as much as you might believe. In 2018-19, while Mane grabbed 22 goals and 1 assist and Firmino got 18 combined, Salah was involved in 30, as well as contributing more goals in Liverpool's Champions League winning campaign than anyone else. He took the most shots, created the most chances and completed the most dribbles at the club. And this season, you might be surprised to find that he's in the lead again, boasting 22 goals and assists to Mane's 21. Despite all this, he's probably the forward Liverpool fans would most readily part with, but he's as important to their attack as Van Dijk is to their defence, as well as being the youngest of the front three. The Reds should keep him at all costs. 7. Marco Verratti Who's the best midfielder in the world? Whoever you thought of, it probably wasn't Marco Verratti. Though well-liked, the Italian is now 27 and no longer linked to Barcelona or Man City, but has developed into a spectacular all-rounder in the course of an 8-year and 22-trophy spell with PSG. Though Les Parisiens see around 62% of possession in Ligue 1, Verratti still manages to do plenty of ball-winning, with 4.5 successful challenges per 90, second only to Idrissa Gay at the Parc des Princes, and ahead of the theoretically more defensive Marquinhos. Once he has the ball, Verratti is devastating. He completes 1.5 dribbles a game at an insane 86% clip, creates 1.6 chances and plays 104 passes per match, the best total in the whole of Europe's top 5 leagues, while maintaining a 93% pass accuracy, the sort of figure we normally see from a centre-back passing sideways. Sadly, it will always feel like Verratti could have done more with his talent, unless PSG win the Champions League, especially as he has just 36 international caps to his name, the same number as Matteo Darmian. Perhaps the Euros will show the world what he's become. 6. Nico Elvedi 
most coaches try to protect their centre-backs, knowing one mistake could mean a goal or a red card. But Marco Rosa is not most coaches. Under the German, Borussia Mönchengladbach currently sits six points off the league summit, with a pressing style producing the fourth best attack in the league, but the whole system hinges on exceptional defensive play. With the forwards and midfielders pushing up to press, Gladbach are vulnerable if the opposition get through them, but Nico Elvedi has made an art of sweeping up behind. The 23-year-old is quick enough to have featured at fullback for club and country, and that pace produces 2.7 interceptions a game, ninth highest in Europe. The Swiss adds a further two tackles, while only committing one foul every two matches, and at 6'2", he's unsurprisingly strong in the air, with 60% success on aerial duels. Boosting his value even further is his versatility. A right footer who can play on the left, Elvedi could seemingly make a useful partner for just about anyone. Of course, that would require Gladbach to accept a sale, but with Marco Rosa already linked to half of Europe, the Foles might have to enjoy a good time, not a long time, with Elvedi. 5. Thomas Strakosha We've been banging this drum for a while, but with Lazio still in the Scudetto hunt with two-thirds of the season gone, we're championing Thomas Strakosha once again. The Albanian recently turned 25 and has over 150 games for the Bianco Celesti under his belt playing in 99 of 102 available matches since the start of 2017-18. Last year, Strakosha performed roughly at expectation, conceding 39 goals from about the same XG, but this season he's been the secret weapon in Lazio's surge up the table. Always a solid shot stopper, saving 75% of the efforts he's faced across his career, Strakosha has been a wall in 2019-20, with just 23 goals allowed from over 29 expected goals, the biggest overperformance by a keeper in Italy and 7th best in Europe. That's brought him 9 clean sheets, and he's good with his feet too, ranking 6th among Serie A goalkeepers when it comes to completing long kicks. With all this, plus his age, it's little wonder that the two contracts Lazio have moved to renew recently are those of Ciro Immobile and Strakosha. But if Chelsea decide to move on from Kepa in the summer, they could do worse than offering the Albanian a different shade of blue. 4. Kevin Folland Somehow, Kevin Folland hasn't played for the German national team since 2016, while Freiburg's Luca Waldschmidt earned three caps last year alone after 10 goal involvements in 30 Bundesliga games. Folland, meanwhile, got 23, and he's followed that up with nine goals and seven assists so far in 2019-20, a strike rate of one every 114 minutes. Though he's often seen game time on the wing and ranks among the top 12% of forwards for defensive work, the Zac Efron lookalike has consistently produced in front of goal, with 119 contributions in 242 appearances across eight years with Hoffenheim and Leverkusen. Folland makes 1.6 key passes a game at present, his best mark ever, while 3.4 shots a game with 2.7 from inside the box are also both career highs. So it's no surprise that he leads his team in XG, outstripping highly rated talents like Kai Havertz and Leon Bailey. And while he may no longer be a prospect at 27 years old, Folland's injury history is impeccable, sitting out just 18 Bundesliga matches since 2012. There are worse players to take a gamble on, and with Arsenal heavily linked with a big money move for the versatile forward, this summer would be the time to roll the dice. 3. Ricardo Pereira the story of Leicester's surge back to the Champions League places this year has drawn plenty of praise for Vardy, Ndidi and Soyuncu, but less heralded is the contribution of Ricardo Pereira, who is now clearly the league's best conventional right-back following the transformation of Trent Alexander-Arnold into David Beckham. If Ben Chilwell would cost £50 million, it's hard to guess what Pereira would be worth in the current market. The 26-year-old has racked up five goals and assists this year while playing the third most minutes for Leicester, in a defence conceding fewer than anyone but Liverpool and Sheffield United after 29 games. Pereira is seemingly everywhere, with a rate of 4.2 tackles a match only just behind Wilfred Ndidi's 4.3 and putting him second in Europe among fullbacks. In total, he wins possession six times a game ahead of Juan Basaka at Man United, despite Leicester seeing more of the ball than the Red Devils, and he's also an important attacking outlet for his side, leading the squad for dribbles on 2.1 per 90, placing him fifth among fullbacks in the top five leagues. In the time since the Portuguese moved to the Prem, his transfer marked value has doubled, and with Leicester almost certain to be a Champions League side next season, his stock will only continue to rise. 2. Wissam Ben Yedder It's hard for strikers to sail under the radar, but joining Folland in that unglamorous club is Wissam Ben Yedder, currently playing for a Monaco side you've completely forgotten exist. A £36 million acquisition from Sevilla in 2019, Ben Yedder is the third most expensive player in Monaco's history, 
and returned to his homeland after scoring 18 in La Liga for the Andalusians last campaign, meaning that he's netted double figures in six of the last seven league seasons. That's impressive enough, but Benyeda has already matched last year's output with 10 games to go, hitting 18 and assisting another 4 in 26 appearances to sit top of Ligue 1 scoring charts alongside Mbappe. The Frenchman, who despite his prolific record has never taken more than 3 shots a game across a whole season, has had a hand in exactly half of his team's goals, and has improved his XG per 90 for the 4th consecutive season to a career best 0.87 the same as Benzema, Rashford and Sterling in 2019-20. Capped just eight times by France, Ben Yedder is arguably the nation's most informed attacker after Mbappe and would surely have earned himself a place at Euro 2020, barring the season's delay. Let's hope he can maintain this form until the rescheduled tournament next year. 1. Andre Kramaric You may know Andre Kramaric from his spell at Leicester in 2015, but the Croatian would probably rather you didn't. Kept out of the lineup by Jamie Vardy and Shinji Okazaki, Kramaric missed out on a league winner's medal, having only appeared twice in 2015 16, and the Foxes sold him to Hoffenheim for a £2 million profit, expecting never to hear his name again. Embarrassingly, Kramaric has matured into one of the best forwards in the Bundesliga. Under Julian Nagelsmann, the 28 year old scored and assisted 63 league goals in the last three years, two better than Vardy's 61 in the same period, despite playing 98 games to the Englishman's 106. He's averaged close to four shots a game in Germany as well as two key passes, and while you may be thinking that he benefited from Nagelsmann's high-octane attacking style, he's maintained his level after the coach's departure, with 0.8 expected goals and assists per 90 this season so far, a better mark than De Bruyne or Firmino. If Kramaric were two years younger, he'd be a target for every club on the continent, and with two years on his contract, he could yet move this summer and, with luck, add to the two titles he won in his homeland before the goals dry up. So those are our 10 players the stats love, but who did we miss out and who would you have included? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to never miss a video. We'll see you next time.